Okay, so I'm going to be testing this CAN bus system on this car. We've got the printout here. So apparently, and more ones upside down, there's 16 volts. Uh, sorry, number 16 is 12 volts. So I'm going to test that to the ground. So one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. That's a ground. And the next one is the corner one, pin 16. Just make sure my me meter's on volts. So there you go, 12 volts. So I know that I've got power and I've got a, a chassis ground. So I'll go to this one, this is a ground as well. One, two, three, four, ground, signal ground. So that's okay as well. So now I'm gonna test the CAN buzz, which is 14 and six. So I'll pull the probes out carefully. Set this to ohms. It should be 60 ohms if it's all right. So it's, it's pins. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that should have been 60 ohms, but I've got it on the wrong setting, so. So nothing there. Why is that? Okay, it's come back now. It's because I had it turned on. So now it's gone to sleep and it's showing the ohms reading. So obviously you have to do that without power. That was my fault. So that's it. Tested the power, tested the two grounds, and tested the uh, the uh, high and low CAN bus systems. A faulty reading would be a short, which I nearly got, which I got, but it's obviously because I was on. And if it's double that or treble that, that's all signs of a faulty CAN bus system.